Hello everyone. Uh, today we have a fun project at home with the family. So my twin and my wife want to build a raised planter to grow some vegetables. So I'm excited. It's gonna be a family project and can't wait to get started. So we're making our planter six feet by three feet. So I got eight foot planks here. So I'm gonna cut them down to six feet, cut them on, get them ready. Alrighty guys, don't make the same mistake I just made. I was using the pole from the house, the post, and as I just noticed, I'm building it around the post. So now I gotta take apart at least this corner to get it out of the pole. Good thing I noticed or I would have just been building away. So let's take this apart. Sorry, the roll of mesh. And I'm just laying it down in here. Now I bought the three foot one so it kind of fits perfect. So this will hold our dirt, our soil. Great job, Matt. You have your mom cleaning behind you. You always need someone doing the cleanup. So we're going to put the soil in. So now we're going to just put this where we want it and fill it up with soil and they can get started with their gardening and planting. So now we are... We are using Kellogg, not the cereal. We are using Kellogg raised bed and potting mix. This is the soil that has everything in it. You can see it here. Go ahead and cut that open there. Pull it down and pour it in. Safety first. Just throw it on the floor, perfect. Done. Oh, this thing is heavy. Just take it out of the bag. Pull, put your hand in it and pull it out. Me? Like that. There you go. Oh, I'm getting your sweater dirty. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 
Don't do what I just did. So this stuff is really heavy. If you get a really big size, it can walk. Okay. Oopsie. So once you have your soil in, you can make holes for your fruits, your flowers, your vegetables. And all you want to do, we use two bags because our bags are big, but to make it so it's about one board up, so like up here. Alrighty, so here is our final product. Um, I ended up doing three foot post instead of four. I did the four, but it was way too high. So three feet is just perfect. As you can see, my daughter's 10 and she reaches over perfect. Um, yeah, looks good. I got the redwood post. Um, you don't have to do the redwood. You can do the regular wood. Um, it's still going to last a while. You can paint it if you want. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Um, the pine that I got, they are tongue and groove. Um, I did get the primered ones. Uh, we're not going to paint it, but it's still, uh, it should hold up for a few years. Um, I think it should be underneath the sun. So if we need to move it, we will. But this seems to be a pretty good spot for now. Make yeah. sure to water your soil so it actually does its job to fertilize the plants. And thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Thank you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please comment below and we will help you out any way we can. Thank you.